but there no one told us that it was their kind of like annual like period costume day so <laughs> everyone was dressed oh in like God. sort of 19th century so did you think garb? you time travel for a minute, like. <laughs> yeah we just came out at the end to the merch desk and all this the doors opened and these people came through and we were like oh, where are we <laughs> At last diverted We slipped outside before they heard us And at the time Your hand touched mine We threw the rope across the great divide such a thing as a hardy fool He'll go as far as the ocean pool You speak of dog and daughter I put the roses in fresh water Brush away Safety What cannot be There is freedom In captivity Enjoy the sound Of every word It can be true It can be blurred Close the door behind me Every creak and every turkey The sand fight in it was not You come and with the midnight knock Brush away Well, it's Joe 
Georgia Mooney. Yeah. The Georgia Mooney Show. Okay, so yeah, that's everybody, the intro right there. <laughs> oh God. Uh, everybody, welcome to the Beard Fire Podcast today with myself, Rowan, and Al. Hi. Is out. What was I supposed to say? I don't know. No, no, I didn't think that far ahead. We never introduce it like this, so <laughs> put him on the spot. And um, we are here with the wonderful Georgia Mooney. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Ville Common. Okay. Mm. The Irish welcome. Thank yeah. you correct, so much. Correct. What is, what is it? Dear Gwit? What is welcome in Irish? Ar- uh, Ar- 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 How long have we been here? <laughs> you were born here. Um, yeah. Oh, God, that sounds really bad. It's We used to do... We were on Irish TV. What was it? Cut that bit. <laughs> From the, uh, the Irish speaking mafia. It's Bill Cummings. It was a sad, it was a yeah, like a <laughs> mob of pitchforked, wielding, yeah. flat yeah, cap wearing. Uh-huh. Alright, anyway. Offended everyone straight off the bat. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, now, yeah, so fine. they can only go up from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Got that out of the way. Uh, so, Georgia, you have just landed from the UK and previously, you know, from your home of Australia. Yeah. So, when did you get to the UK and how long have you been touring around there? It's been, oh, it's been like 10 or 11 days or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's all a bit of a blur. Yes. It takes about yeah. 300 days by sea for, from Australia and then. <laughs> Okay. And then takes sort of seven or eight weeks to get used to the jet lag. So I don't know. I've been mm. here for, for anywhere three between five years. years. What, what, one and <laughs> three hundred days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I found that very no. confusing, but I loved it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's no. great. No, it's yeah. I feel like you accurately <laughs> brought us into your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's your favorite? Do you, do you eat nutri grain? <laughs> wow. Is it still there? <laughs> We haven't That's been back still, for a while. That's Exit? how long ago you were in mm. Australia. Wait, yeah. no, is it gone? You were excited about cereal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that something's never changed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Nutrigrain is awesome. It's I good. haven't had it for about 20 years. No, I think really, it's yeah. still around. I should have brought you some. Had I known. Mm. Next time, <laughs> I'll post you a few. Nutrigrain would be great because we did. Yeah, yeah. We had a friend recently who got who got us like a care yeah, package. Yeah, there was Milo. Really? Milo. Jaffa's. Jaffers, uh, yeah. Oh, right, Mustix. Jaffers. Except, do you mean Mustics. Vegemite, not Promite? No, I mean Promite. What? Are you not a... <laughs> We're ending this. I love... I, love, I do love Vegemite. Vegemite's actually more easily accessible here because yeah. it's kind of like oh. the, the big one. It's like a premium. So you can kind of... I mean, it costs like 20 euro, but it's like you can get it. Mm-hmm. But Promite is like so rare. Interesting, because I think Promite's quite rare in Australia, but I do like it better. It is oh, better. It, <laughs> it's a, it's basically. Are you agreeing the Promite's better? <laughs> I think it's. It's better. basically a knockoff, though, isn't it? Because like, surely really? Vegemite's like the. Actually, wait. Vegemite or is Promite is the, the, the iconic? OG? No, Vegemite's, Vegemite's the. Vegemite. Vegemite. Mm. <laughs> and there's Marmite, which is just neither here nor there. Yeah. What does 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 Ireland have its own mite? Yes. Yeah, Marmite. I think it's like Ar- Ireland, UK, Ireland. Ireland. Is it yeah. Coleman's or something or whatever? But the the point I'm trying to make is like. <laughs> What is the point we're trying to make? Like, I'm one. so glad that you um <laughs> that you uh that you favor the promite because you just haven't had it in years. I've got some in the fridge. We can Whoa. we can just put it on oh, spoons and eat it. Some people like cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> just snorting promite. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Where is the promite? You have to Nutri-Gain. snort very hard. <laughs> you there. The uh That'd I no, but it's fantastic. I, I love I I like I kind of like it on that kind of that that hipstery kind of indie band kind of level. <laughs> yeah. Because everyone's into... Okay. Like, oh, you've probably Vegemite. never heard of Promite. You've probably never heard of Ma- Promite, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're well, kind of cool. get sponsored by Promite. Yeah, that would end. Be, I would die and go... I there. reckon you guys are more excited about Promite than anyone I've ever met. Maybe. And anyone in Australia. So I think that oh, you, definitely. Should, you should be the ambassadors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if Mr. and Mrs. Marmite <laughs> are watching... If you're out there. If you're out there. Oh, wait, Promite, Promite. Promite. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm getting my mites wrong. <laughs> Damn it! It was so Cut. close. Cut. Um, but yeah, Promite's fantastic. It's also you can. Sorry, I, I will. I will stop soon. I've had but... to talk about this the whole time. <laughs> okay, okay. It's. Yeah. I love how. Let's I, talk about snacks. I, I feel mm. like you can eat more um, Promite than Vegemite. Vegemite is very strong. Interesting. Mm. As in There's more a sweetness on the spread. spread. On yeah, the spread. Yeah. Like, yeah. like if yeah, you if you sweet. put if you gave me a. Um, what's it good? A sayo. Okay, nice. <laughs> with with Vegemite and a sayo with... Butter as well. Oh, butter, yeah. yeah. You've got to get your little worms coming through. Yeah. Or butter worms, right? Yeah. You know, and squeeze from both sides. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Definitely, like, I can handle a lot more Promite and I actually love... I, I don't think there's, an, um, like, a too much amount. Like with white chocolate, mm. you can't have too much white chocolate. Yeah. Oh, inter- okay. Well, I, I mean, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Where do you stand but- on the chocolate? <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know if I like white chocolate. What? It is a. It's a very like divisive really thing. Really, is very. I think it's technically, it's not even loved. chocolate. It's not. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's universally loved. I think <laughs> you've created a small universe. In what about? <laughs> I love this small universe. I love my. Where do you universe. stand on Milo? <laughs> love Milo. Yeah, Milo's great. Holy smokes! And like. The, the various ways that you can have Milo. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I love how functionally it does not work. Yeah. Like, it it's, a thi- it's, a, it's a thing you put in milk to dissolve. That, that sits does, on the top that of That doesn't milk. dissolve in milk. <laughs> That's really true. And they just went, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this. May as well do. But give me, what are, yeah, what are your favourite, like, forms of Milo consumption? Well, the main thing when you're a kid... Um, yeah, growing or up in grown Australia, man. or a grown man, <laughs> is that you just do so much of yep. it. Yeah, yeah. And then you... you do so much of it. That <laughs> sounds like a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Fill half your cup and you end up feeling really sick. Mm. But, yeah. Um, or you, and then you inevitably try and do a spoonful of dry Milo in your mouth. Yes. And then you get the Milo cough. Yeah, yeah. Which is a famous thing. Which we were doing, like... Before the internet. <laughs> yeah, it was before just, the it's internet. just human nature. I was doing that when I was like four before it. Yeah, before We used to have a thing called the out. double Dutch Milo, which is where you put Milo on the top oh, and the bottom. bottom. Yeah. yeah, that's the best. Yeah. And then microwave it so that oh, it gets wow. crisp. The Never stuff on the top gets crunchy. Oh, wow. And then you this get... This is new. Yeah, and then so you get the crunchy top and then you can like... Release the, the bottom. Yeah, a little mm. bit, but always leaving some enough at the bottom so that you've got a little... Yeah, like, bonus sludge. Nice. Putting at the bottom. <laughs> 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 There's so many ways. Hot, cold, I mean... It's great. I don't think I've ever... Have we? Did my yeah, hot, hot Milo? Maybe. Hot Milo sounds like two words that I've put together. <laughs> before, so. Do you want a hot Milo? Like hot stripper Milo. name. Hot <laughs> <laughs> stripper name. Yeah. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Hot Milo. <laughs> Double Dutch. She sounds fun. Yeah, I was imagining double it was me, Dutch. but it can be a she, I guess. Why is it called Double Dutch? I've never heard that term. I don't know. It's just some Carol Carol that's not I think it might have been Patrick. Well, yeah. think... <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that one there. Uh, yeah, I think mean, I mean so. So. Mm. I would Thanks for coming on. Yeah, that was great. Great. <laughs> great to see you. Yeah. Um, What's your favourite Irish snack? Uh, what should I try? Well, I think one of the great okay. things. The crisp department is, exactly oh, okay. chips is a lot better here. I think yeah, we have I can believe that. way more of a variety. Okay, I saw chips yesterday that were shamrock and onion. Oh, oh they're amazing. Oh, sour cream, shamrock, shamrock and sour cream. cream. They're really fantastic. good. Fantastic. What? Oh, shamrock. It's just fake. So, it, it's a lie. <laughs> it's, from, it's like chives. It's in there, but I don't it's know chives. if it tastes like any. Yeah, probably. It's, it's chives. Apparently there are real shamrocks in there, but it's chives. Yeah. But it looks cool, and it's marketing. It's got a cow on it. Yeah. There was yeah, why do they... <laughs> yeah, they... Where do the potatoes come from if there's a cow in there? You just, you just carve maybe you they, get a little no, ice cream they... scooper and do it on a cow and you get a potato. <laughs> maybe, the, um, oh. maybe the cows farm the potatoes. They grow back. <laughs> Mate, oh, do you think so? Yeah, yeah let's go with that. is great, though. Very wholesome. They, they're actually like a 200-year-old potato company. Who Love it. started making Is that true? Crisps. Yeah, it says like 200. That's what it says on the packet. And also, mm-hmm. it says like on the back of every Keogh's packet, like who cooked the chips. Personally, like yeah, this yeah. is like... Christoph, dude, Christoph makes the best. Does yeah. he? Yeah. You <laughs> see his name down there sometimes. It's like, and they tell you the, the, nice. the type of the breed of potato as well. <laughs> Ireland does do sort of like specific kind of yeah. local rural yeah, details yeah, really. like no one else, and I, yeah, I like that a lot. No, it's great. Um, yeah, it's like yeah, this this came off Jim's truck, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's, it's all just Jim. <laughs> it's about thirty different people. But uh, you have yeah. to change your name to Jim if you work at the factory. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd say crisps. Um, have you tried many different varieties of of snack since you've been here this time or previous times? Mm, no, I haven't had. I saw though. I was tempted by the crisps yesterday. Mm. Uh, we call them chips. Well, Keos, but... O'Donnell's, um, Keos, O'Donnell's, and well, Kettle. It's an English company, but they're good as well. But also, I, I mean, it... you've got like the. The crappy like Banshee well. Bones and Monster Munch and all. No, but I'm, like, I'm saying on the more kind of you know pretty healthy kind of variety. Yeah, they're quite, yeah. They're quite you know they use proper oils Good and all that kind you. of stuff. Um, the I was excited in the supermarket yesterday to see. Um, speaking of cereal, Crunchy Nut like yeah. bar, like oh, you know Crunchy yeah. Nut cornflakes. Corn flakes, yeah. You're like, I'm Boy, do I. Yeah, <laughs> they're like the biggest treat. Of they're, the so cereal. Good, they're so they? good. Crunchy Nut cornflakes, but in like a like a like a nut bar. Mm. And I was like. Oh, like a cornflake nut bar. I don't know. 
Oh, I feel no, I think I've had them shit. at some point. Did you try it? Why, yeah. why didn't you get it? I didn't get it. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> I have to do it today. You have yeah. to. It'll be in Tesco. It'll be fine. We'll do a recap. <laughs> we'll you get, you'll get you to send in a video of you eating it. We'll <laughs> yeah. insert it in the corner. <laughs> I when they do yeah. it on YouTube. There'll be a thing here. Or yeah, I, know. <laughs> I, I always. That's what, it probably won't be there anyway. No, it won't. No, because <laughs> you know I do this all the time. Even if I, I even if I had it, I wouldn't put it in. There. <laughs> no, at this point, principle. Yeah, <laughs> I always because Al does the editing Spite. of the podcast, mm-hmm. and I say, "Hey Al, during podcast, oh, you could do a thing where you put a thing in the thing," and he's like, "No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got better things to do." Than I that. don't think so. So where are you off to now? Obviously, by the time this podcast airs and people are watching it, um, unfortunately, you're. Your latest Irish tour will be complete. Will have been a There's raging only, success. Will have been a yes. raging success. <laughs> the bit where Bono did backing vocals on that song and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, He's always asking to He's get always up. asking. And Can't it gets a bit it. annoying, doesn't it? <laughs> Honestly. It's like, oh no. You've got your own band, yeah. mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do fine. They'll be all right. They're all right. Um, um, so, yeah, well, where are you off to anyway? Tomorrow, tomorrow in the past, I'm going mm. to Connolly's of Flip. What? Do you know where that is? Connolly's of Lap. Connolly's of Lap. Connolly's of Lap. Not Connolly's of Lap. Connolly's of Lap. Okay. Another stripper name. Yeah. Um, Do you know Connolly's? It's an amazing venue. How do you not know? I must know it. You might. It's in. Mm. Well, it's near Clonakilty. Mm. Right, the cheese. It's really is there a cheese? Beautiful. In? Probably. Yeah, there's good cheese. Anyway, that's where we're going first, mm. and then we're going to Kinsale mm-hmm. the next day, play Prim's Bookshop, and then going to Roisin Dove in Galway. I know Roisin Dove. Oh, nice. For sure. Yeah. And we ju- I just did Ruby Sessions. Um, oh, oh, fantastic. Great. Did you? Nice. Great. Yeah, it was so nice. That's a good cool. one. Cool. Yeah. That's a great gig to get. It awesome. was beautiful. Mm. It was so special. Mm. Oh, far out. Um, yeah, that's such a special thing. There's not many kind of shows like that. In, no, not at all. Yeah. In the and it's always world. secret and everyone's always booked out and you never know who yeah. you're going to get. And it's awesome. And I love that Connor's just like, dead silence at all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, people really respect that and yes. hang on every word. It's well, he used to beat them with sticks. So yeah. Like they've been the trained. trained. They it's know. a Pavlovian yeah. kind of response at this stage. Violence Allegedly. Works. It does. It works. It works. Hashtag <laughs> violence works. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, I think that's a great philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could go far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was really nice. And there was, because, yeah, they, you know, he has three three artists perform. There's Irish mm-hmm. guys. And then at the end, there was also this a cappella group from Yale University <laughs> in America wow. who were amazing. It was like these 13... Yale yellers. Beautiful, young, like, choir nerds who were just... Nice. Angels. And they mm. sang so beautifully. Mm. These, like, amazing choral arrangements of... Pop songs. Oh, cool! It wow. was very, Fantastic. It was very what were nice. they called? You remember? They're called Dukes of Yale. Dukes mm. of Yale. Yeah. That's better than the Yale Yellers. Apparently, mm. they've performed at Drew Barrymore's birthday party. Anyway, this isn't their interview. Yeah, yeah Dukes of Yale. Get your own show. <laughs> Who ever invited you? Go back to Yale and, Yale and Duke. <laughs> Pick it out. Go Pick it out. Yale, you geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> you nerds. Yeah, you know nerds. what a test you should be studying for? <laughs> yeah. So you're a and nerd. Beautiful. I, mm. I think so, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Good segue. Because uh, mm. will I tell you my Star Wars fact and see if you think it's interesting? Oh my god, please, mm. yeah. So, well, first of all, like. You like Star Wars, is that correct? Yeah, I'm quite into Star Wars. Yeah, mm. like, yeah. Like, like. By the way, we're not huge Star Wars like. Guys, like, but what? Where would right. you rank yourself in, like, absolute? Oh, I wouldn't put myself in kind of like the, the, freaky level of knowledge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too intimidated by the people who know absolutely everything. Yes, yeah. but I love it a lot. I love it a lot. And then also, something's happened when now people have the impression that I love Star Wars a lot, and so every like Christmas and birthday, I just get novelty oh, shit. Oh, wow. Mm, <laughs> so okay. like, the amount of just kind of Star Wars crockery, mugs, teapots... <laughs> it's nice, it's nice. Like, so it's become Jedi its own chopsticks. thing. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I've got cool. a lot of weird stuff in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, did you did you grow... <clears throat> like, we, did you like it when you were a kid, and then mm-hmm. you kept following it, or was it more of a later thing, or what? How did you... Liked it as a kid. My brother was super into okay. it. I, we used to play Star Wars games. On what? Um, just like made up ones. Oh, nice, you know, when nice. You're like running around being Jedi's. Oh, yeah. Wow. And um, yeah, I've just always liked it. But I'm like, I'm not a very um, fussy fan either. Like, yeah, good. I, yeah. I like all the new ones. I, do, you know, I know the what the. 
prequels aren't that great. But, oh. Um, you know, all of the new stuff, I'm kind of like, yeah, more Star Wars. That's yeah, fun. Yeah, spaceships and stuff. Get yeah, over it. You fun. know what I mean? Let people of this generation enjoy it. All right. <laughs> My stupid Star Wars fact. Oh my god. When I was you a kid. You were a stormtrooper? Oh uh, no. I was nearly. What? I was nearly young Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 1. That's not true. Is it, did it I just is, cut yeah. to the end of the story? No, that's, that that's is the end of the story. Oh, that's not. He, he didn't. Yeah. What happened? What happened? So hang on, you auditioned? I had lots of auditions. You did lots Americans of auditions. Americans came and everything. What did you have to. Okay, hang on. on. Was, there like a, was there like a notice in the paper? No, I was part we, of Actors' we Equity. We want you. We want you. Oh, are you an actor? Oh, yes. I'm a thespian. Are you? Well, I'm not anymore. I he, was, act, he was acting then. I act Can cool. You, I was acting then. Know? Did you notice? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Wow. You're very good. I'm good. I've been acting this whole time. Oh, God. I'm not even here. <laughs> What's um, your real name? <laughs> so, I no, I did, um, I, I did acting and then did the... This is not the Rowan interview, but I just thought that was... A, I did acting no, when I was younger it. before I did, uh, did the... Did music. I only started doing music when I was like 14. Okay. You know, so, so you had an agent and they were like, we're going to put you up for this part. Sort of, sort of yeah. yeah. I was, I was in, a, in an agency, basically. And then, yeah, did it. But anyway, um, <gasps> that other guy got it. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's get him. Let's get him. I think he's already I, got. Yeah, I think, he, I think life got him. I think life got him. Oh, no. What's happened? Where is he now? I, I don't know. I don't think he... Um, oh, no. He's all right, Dish. He got too excited yeah. with his... Pod races in his I think he pod raced too hard. Yeah. I think he pod raced into a into a nervous pod race breakdown yeah. kind of mm. drug. Well, f- maybe he dodged a bullet. I think I did. Mm. Wouldn't but be here you, talking now. Okay. Well, I might be, but it might be at like Star Wars Con. Can you? <laughs> I don't think that. he goes to Star Wars Con though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say? And I'd just be like, um, excuse me, Rowan. Um, I'd be like fully decked out in my princess layer. Um, but you, so hang on. I just want to know one, like one detail of the audition process. Like, what, oh, okay. Do you remember anything you had to do? Well, there was a lot of stuff revolving around American accents. That was the main part. That's weird because Are they were from it space. Yeah, like what the? Why? But no, it's also, I know. Like, I, I read about it. They they went like all over the world to to find someone to be Anakin. Isn't that insane? I mean, but it's it seems kind of weird. Because going to everyone and saying, "Hey, can you do an American accent?" I know. It's like, like It's like. Why not just go to America? Like, why not just keep it in America? You're gonna yeah, find a kid. You're gonna find a kid. Of course, you're gonna find. Imagine the budget. Imagine what that yeah. cost yeah, to scour the globe. And they ended up with an American. Is he American? And they, yeah, he's an American. Yeah, and um, I don't just an American kid. Why they're so fussy about the accent? Anyway, Darth Vader is much more like. I know. Mm. So it's not like you've got to continue that. And is that Alec Guinness? He, he was. Uh, was he um, Obi Wan Kenobi in the first one? He's got an English accent. What about yeah, bloody Ewan McGregor? Yeah, <laughs> he's not American, is he? No, does no he's he not American. American but I, I, or, who does he? I can't remember. Maybe don't know. What's the thing he says? I have the higher he, ground or something. Hmm. I have a what? Sorry, I have what? <laughs> I've got hard what? <laughs> I don't, what that was the parody. That was, that was on a different website entirely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were talking about the same movie. Here. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what were you all missing? <laughs> <sighs> well, that's really cool. So you. So that was my little piece of Star Wars trivia. That's amazing. And here we are now. Let's tell the story it. as it was down to two. It was definitely yes. down to two. <laughs> I think it was. And I was too cool, and they needed a guy. You, you see, the like, problem was the okay. problem was it was a story development, <laughs> and they wanted to show the hero's <clears throat> journey, and I was already kind of too established in my character as an individual, I think and you I was too strong. By the dark side of the force. <laughs> that could be the problem. I, don't know. I was already too dark. They needed someone <laughs> innocent to be, to portray it from the beginning. Um, so yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty sick. And of course. Uh, you know, you're doing, uh, you're focusing on your your solo project at the moment, but you're of course an ARIA winning artist. <laughs> um, yes. uh, was that with uh, All Our Exes Live in Texas, or what was that it was. associated with? Yes, yes. That's why. That's a big, big old band, man. Everyone yeah. loves that band. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. No. It's, it's, yeah. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> yeah. So. I was playing X's were touring for kind of five or six years and yeah got got very busy we sort of got to a point of touring like eight or nine months of the year and we were visiting the states a lot and we came over to UK and came to Ireland a couple times Mm -hmm. and go around and around Australia but um yeah, and then we kind of decided to have a little break, and mm. that was like right before 2020. Good timing. And, and then, yeah. <laughs> and good timing. It's been a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, 
it's well, a what's special the, band. What's the, what's like, you know, I mean, obviously there's, <clears throat> there'd be dozens of mad things and probably plenty you couldn't say here, but like <laughs> anything, anything like, uh, what's the, what's the weirdest, most like, just fucking wacky place that you've ever performed at? Country, town, you know, what, what kind of... Mm. Mm. We, that's, I mean, there's been a lot of weird ones. And you see so it many weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> flashing. Your just... eyes just glazing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we played once, we had, uh, we were booked for a festival in um, New Mexico called Music on the Mothership or something. It had like a spacey Ooh, thing. Ooh, okay. Sounded cool and crazy, but, and, um... We had to drive. We were doing this driving tour, which was like six weeks around the States. And we had to drive 10 hours from the previous gig mm. to get to this one. Yeah, and were, were members of the band driving, or did you have... Yeah, oh it was just God. us in a wow. van. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, trying to drive on the wrong side of the road. But mm. And so we were like, okay, we're going to have to start driving after the last gig and then like mm. stay in a roadside oh, motel wow. and then keep just fanging it along yeah. Route 66. Mm. And um, there were only two of us that could drive as well, so we were just like... <laughs> Swapping back and forth, and God. Uh, lots of snacks. But um, so we start started dry. Firstly, the the gig before was quite funny because we it was in this little town in um, God, I don't know. I want to say Albuquerque or something. Arizona, but oh, okay. maybe I'm not sure. But there, no one told us that it was their kind of like annual like period costume day. So <laughs> everyone was dressed oh, in like God. sort of. 19th so century did you think guard? you time travel for a minute? Like, <laughs> yeah. We just came out at the end to the merch desk and all these, the doors opened and these people came through and we were like, oh, where are we? <laughs> like, what's happening? What year is it? Uh, Who's the president? <laughs> yeah. And I love that they just went about their daily business doing, yeah, and like, yeah, we'll go to this gig, but we'll keep our hmm. corsets on. That's why. Anyway. Um, and so then we had to drive, yeah, sort of three hours, and we stayed in this m- motel on the road. Like murder motel kind of? So murdery. <laughs> yeah, it was terrifying. And we were all, we were on a, a quite a tight budget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've been there. We've got some footing. Oh, God. Anyway, a rich yeah. man's game. Anyway. Um, and so we were all in one hotel room, and then, as most of the time. And just a cacophony of farts through the night. <laughs> just as you all shared that. Absolutely. Did harmonizing. You, like, harmonizing. Did, did you harmonize? <laughs> We haven't got to that point. Farts just, and thirds yeah, and fifths. That'd be nice. It would yeah. be nice, actually. I think it could be done. The farting choir. That, that's, I'm sure someone's attempted that, at least. It's worth a go. I can solo, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm a good it's soloist. A I can take lead. solo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing second fart to you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway, go ahead. So, okay. So the <laughs> You're in the hotel. You're in the hotel. Yeah. Okay. So then, the next day we had to drive, yeah, like another seven or eight uh, hours to get there on time. And I said it was a four. So we were smashing it. And we didn't realise that as you crossed the state border, you lost an hour. Oh, so wow. God. we, yeah. So we ended up <laughs> so getting there. So you did there. time travel. <laughs> we ended up yeah. getting there five minutes past our start time. And we're like, we're ready, we'll just go on. And they were like, don't worry about it. No, no. Just, oh, what? Good. Don't worry about it, just mm. enjoy yourselves. But the place, so it was like... Proper desert, like kind mm. of like cartoon roadrunner sort but of But did desert, you play the gig or not? Well, no. So oh. it was like, um, yeah. So because like yeah, they wanted you there for sound check. Red and they dirt desert do. and those amazing mountains with the flat tops. And oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I saw a tarantula across the highway as I was driving. Like it was so big that I could just see this huge spider going through wow. it. And I was like, wow. Did you run over him? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to swerve oh, around. Wow. Like swerve around a dog, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. He flips the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> and there was just like silver caravans. It was really spooky and weird. Mm-hmm. And culty. When, yeah, and um, culty vibes are fun. A lot of sort of old men in tie dye, to be honest. That's all right. And um, we then, <laughs> yeah. So we got there and yeah, we they were like, don't worry about it, just go and hang out. And we went went into the backstage tent and it was just tables and tables of like every type of weed available <laughs> and mushrooms and oh, like God. a little bar up there making margaritas and and it was just yeah like we proceeded to sort of accidentally get extremely stoned and then <laughs> and yeah, then yeah. <laughs> um lose our minds and listen to sort of grateful dead tr- cover bands mm. um and then be in bed like off our Chops by about seven thirty p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so, and out of it. 
But that was God quite damn. funny. I mean, so cool. it all worked out in the end. So, <laughs> so the point, what's the moral of that story? I don't know. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is one. I don't think there's, I don't think there's a moral theme. <laughs> always swerve for spiders. That's the one. <laughs> always swerve. A S F S. Asifs. Always asifs. Um... Yeah, man, that's wild. And yeah, the, the budgetary stuff, just when it's, oh, it's so yeah. tight, isn't it? Did you ever get close to murdering each other? Oh, yeah, big time, big time. Yeah. Oh, daily basis. <laughs> the other thing that was cool about that part of the world is that they've got loads of, I think because there's a bit of altitude and a bit of drugs, mm. that you've got lots of people who've got the UFO stories. So oh, they yeah. Were just, all night were telling us UFO stories. Wow, nice. Wow. <laughs> Did you see any? No, no. Mm. But we you didn't take enough drugs for that, <laughs> enough altitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Next time. Yeah, I there is then I suppose is the idea to bring the uh, the solo act over to the states as well. Have you done that yet or not? Um, not yet. So it's all yeah. The well, it's all quite new. Your, your new. album's out what in August? Album's out in August. Mm. And are the three the three tracks that are out are they from the album? The kind yes. of singles ahead of the the release. Yeah. Yep. Great. Um, there's another one coming out in June. Nice. But um, yeah, so the album was recorded with a. Uh, producer who's based in LA called Noah Georgeson and mm-hmm. he's he's really beautiful he's yeah worked on some albums with like kind of Kate Le Bon and Joanna Newsom mm-hmm. and Marlon Williams lots of like, beautiful yeah. cool folkies and we were going to record in San Francisco but then there was this small global crisis mm-hmm. and so we did it all remotely yeah and kind of took our time like because there mm-hmm. was time yeah yeah it took like 18 months in yeah. the end yeah and it was a bit magical, you know. Mm. And like I think you, were, I was saying before, you did a bit of remote stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the nice thing about that was that, like, particularly at that moment, everyone was available. So I mm. kind of mm. managed to assemble this band who were based in, like, across three continents. So like, yeah. four different countries. And, That's great. You know, yeah. and like, especially when there's no gigs, it felt quite nice to be like yeah. chipping away on something and. Yeah, and to have that 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 connection and that focus as well, because it was yeah. it was a very odd time. My God. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's like people who didn't have something like that to do just kind of went insane. Slowly went insane. I know. So it's like it's it's great to have that kind of focus yeah. and a project to kind of put all the and en- like the excess energy you have yeah, into that. Yeah, exactly. To have a yeah, to have a creative kind of outlet, to have a project. I think that's why we kind of let it take so long as well. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. fine. And well, once ending. it starts. <laughs> As and well, it just yeah. kept building and getting more mm. and more kind of lush and like expansive as I think mm. as we were like in our locked away in our room. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, we'll make something that sounds <laughs> like space. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so it's and so, so is it a fairly kind of eclectic record or who, how would you describe to people like the the sound of of this album? Well, yeah, it is quite lush. There's lots of layers of. Um, it's like synths and strings and guitars and, um, you know, full band stuff. Mm-hmm. I play half the songs I'm played um, dulcimer yep. and half I play piano. Cool. And there's, yeah, loads and loads of layers of BVs. And, but so there's some songs that are kind of like a bit sort of weird indie poppy, like sort of Kate Bushy inspired mm-hmm. vibes. Yeah. And there's some that are kind of much more folky. Folky americana kind of. Yeah, mm. so it's yeah, it's quite a mixed bag by virtue of there being a few different instruments and That's great. like there's songs that I wrote over a few years between tours with exes mm, and nice. um, so yeah, so some of the songs have lived with me for a long time. Some of the, a couple that I wrote in Ireland actually, mm. like years ago. So <clears throat> like yeah. the, the song about potatoes, that one. Yeah, there's <laughs> <laughs> the leprechaun and the potato. That was yeah. one of my favourites, actually. <laughs> Shamrock and Sour Cream. Shamrock and Sour Cream. That's what it's called. It's never sunny in Ireland. <laughs> well, it's never such a bad thing. Yeah. And, you know, if someone was thinking of, you know... Because I know a lot of young people watching this will be thinking, like, I've always dreamed of being a dulcimerer. <laughs> a lot of people. Everyone. I mean, basically, yeah, at Christmas. Yeah. Like, you sh- have you tried to get a dulcimer at Christmas? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, nowhere to be found. <laughs> you can go much ahead. Um... But seriously, like, obviously it's a it's an instrument that is really, really beautiful. Um, but how on earth did you come to the dulcimer? Well, I won one in a raffle. Of course you did. <laughs> that, yeah, I feel like that's how anyone would kind of, What's this thing? <laughs> I just won it. Yeah, at the National Folk Festival in okay. Canberra, Australia. Oh, their capital. Capital the, of the best country in the world. Nation's capital. Nation's capital's where the president lives. <laughs> Queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> Queen of Ireland. <laughs> the president. President of Australia. All high. 
Um, unfortunately, we don't have a president. I know. Um, um, but anyway. Anyway, politics. Anyway, anyway go on. Politics. Um, yeah, well, I've always kind of wanted. I've always wanted one because Joni Mitchell used to play one, mm. and they sound really special. But you never see them anywhere. And then, yeah, um, the prize for this raffle, first prize was. Um, you could pick an instrument because at the festival there's an, a tent of instrument an makers, array. Ooh, and okay. you could pick an instrument from one of these beautiful right. instrument makers up to the value of three grand. Oh, oh. I know it's an amazing prize, mm. and there was all these ones. And then yeah, I was like a dulcimer man. I look mm. like a dulcimer, and he was like, well, he turns yes, you called. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he was like, oh, my God, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, he's feverishly yeah. making a dulcimer backstage. The electric guitar guy. Grabbing anything, like, you know, fucking <laughs> toilet rolls, yeah. fucking tires, car tires. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's one dulcimer, man. No one knows what they look like. So <laughs> Just give it to him. But he was like, oh, I, only, I normally sell them for sort of $900. So, so would you like three? So I've got... <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. oh. so got You've got three? <laughs> They're, they're all different sizes, so that's a standard size. I'm pointing okay. at something that no one can see. Yeah, that's fine. And then Alex will edit one. in a picture of it in the corner. <laughs> yeah, see here in he this won't. diagram. <laughs> um, and yeah, anyway. It's like a dinosaur next to it for scale. And a man. Anyway. I'd like the dinosaur to be playing it. Mm. Um, uh, uh, that'll I'll definitely try. happen. <laughs> and use AI. But yeah, but it's beautiful. I don't know why they aren't kind of more common because it's mm. uh, everything kind of sounds nice as well. Yeah, yeah. And, it's like a cheat, um, cheat get, code. It is a bit cheaty. <laughs> the frets are all diatonic, so like oh, you can't really, really so make you're always in key essentially. Yeah. yeah, it's like the the the, the pentatonic scale of uh, <laughs> of instruments. Yeah, and you can do like lots of different tunings and get interesting sort of modal mm. stuff. So nice. in terms of songwriting, it like I just yeah fiddle around and. It takes you in different directions that you wouldn't normally. That's cool. Go awesome, awesome. Yeah. Anyway, blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Dulcimer is all oh, right. Who couldn't? <laughs> Am who I couldn't? right? Fascinating girls. <laughs> the Dulcy cast. Dulcy girls. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up shortly, and um, I just want to yeah, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, that's great. The Dulcy cast. Uh, talked about absolutely everything. That was really really fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. And look, I feel like From we serial really... to Star Wars. To the dulcimer. Yeah. To raffles. The world's greatest raffle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, everybody watching to get online, check out uh, Georgia. Georgia Mooney. It must have been fun in America, them saying the word, the name Georgia. Was it fun? <laughs> it was quite Georgia. Fun. I've never How you doing, to Georgia? Georgia. I'd like to go do to they that, do that state. I've never been. But um, You start to sparkle. Did you know if you go to the state in America... Where your yeah, name your is, name's... and you stand in the sunlight, you sparkle. Mm. Real, like a vampire. Like a vampire out wow. of twilight. Gosh, you don't. Yeah, you don't hear that often, but that's it's true. It's really interesting. You'll, when you go to Georgia, you'll see. Be careful. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's no um, there's no Alex State or Rowan State, so we'll never no. get to experience that. By I thought probably I somewhere just get, in like, some country. Automatic keys to the city or something. Probably. Yeah. You... It opens <laughs> every door. Yeah. In the yeah. City. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's fine that with another Georgia. <laughs> you must Start be Georgia. Georgia today. <laughs> Come on in, have some apple pie. Is that what America's like? <laughs> Never been. You're doing the full range of accents. Yeah, you, no. I think it was. You were robbed. You How did? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that was your Anakin voice. <laughs> I'm Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> you give me the keys to that pod racer. That movie would have been so much better <laughs> if it was Southern. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Southern Star Wars. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, anyway, sorry. We sorry. could literally talk all day. Um, <laughs> yeah, we need to stop this. Oh, uh, no, thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure um, nice. to have you on the show mm-hmm. and uh, wishing you all the best with the rest of the um, the tour. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, come on, come on back anytime. I don't know why I'm stuck in this, <laughs> this stupid accent. Yeah, um, yeah so Georgia Mooney uh, on Instagram, Facebook, I presume, YouTube, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Spotify. Mm-hmm. Stream that albums. It's out in August and the singles are out there now, so go to check them out and catch uh, Georgia in concert when you can. Yay. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Thanks, Take it mate. Easy. Thanks, mate. <laughs>